Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up Google Shopping for your Shopify store. Now, if you've gone through the dynamic product ads and setting up product catalogs and things like that, you may have noticed some warnings on your product catalogs where maybe you're missing some categories or things like that. Now, how we can fix that is we can set up Google Shopping here to be able to set up those features of each product so it fits perfectly. Not only that, but you're gonna be able to list all your products onto the Google Shopping Network, start advertising over there, just have another traffic source, another marketplace to be able to make sales. So it's, it's you know very beneficial to your shopping store or your Shopify store. So first off, what we need to do is just head on over to the App Store and we're gonna grab the Google Shopping app here. It's just a free setup. Um, after this, we're gonna need to set up an actual Google Shopping Network on Google. So just simple one-click install as usual. All right, now we need to sign into our Google account, set this up properly. All right, now we need to go into the Google uh, Merchant Center and set up that account to get our ID number. So a very simple process, just gotta follow through with the steps and instructions given. All right, now we need to set up all the proper information. Where is our business based? United States. Name of your store. URL. not have adult products contact details let's go with me no updates needed all good all right agree to the terms now we need to verify that this site is ours so you can either go to your server and add an HTML file or there are a few other ways where you can just set up our Google Analytics your Google Tag Manager or even just add an HTML tag into your store. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'll copy this meta tag, head into the themes area of my store. Now we're going to head into the edit HTML CSS and then just in the main theme liquid file we can add that in the header. Alright. Actually I'm going to put that at the bottom of the head. So everything else fires before it. <clears throat> there we go. All right, now I'll head back and just click the verify and claim. This will go green, looks good. Click finish. Perfect, now we need to grab our number up here. Head back into our app section. Now we can add our account ID here. All right, now what we need to do is we need to set up the appropriate shipping rates in the Google Shopping Network. It's the same we have set up in our Shopify store. So it has the walkthrough instructions here. We can go to the Merchant Center, Settings, Shipping. And then we're just going to set up the same shipping rate. So I'm gonna go shipping method. I'll just name this the same. We have ours. So we're calling this insured standard shipping and handling. Sounds good. Now we don't have a single rate because we have a few different rates going where we're going zero to five pounds is 495. Anything above that we're going uh, 20 or 10 and then over 20 pounds is 20. So we're gonna do a rules setting. Time to transit, we're gonna say seven to 21 days. All shipments. Now we can add some ranges here. They're going by price, we're gonna go by weight in pounds, that's how we have it set up in Shopify. So zero to five is one rate. We're gonna go five to 10. We'll just go five to 20, we don't. I guess we'll do the same. Five to 9.9, .9. make sure they're the same. And then 9.9 .9 to 
from you to all other. We can apply. Now we'll include the cost. Excluded, excluded, looks good. Click save. We should be good to go. Click test shipping rates to make sure they work. Oh, one is off. I think it's this one right here. What we'll do is we'll edit this to be. Good. All right, now we can choose the collections that we want to publish onto the Google Shopping Network. I'm just going to go with all products. Now when all the products are uploaded and things like that, you're going to be able to go through and edit. You're going to have to choose categories for you know the Google categories for your products. Um, these are the uh, different features or just uh, information about the products you have listed that the Facebook product catalogs are missing. So once you have Google Shopping and all the products set up and verified and all set up properly on this network, your product catalogs will not show those warnings anymore and you'll have it all set up. As you can see, we have errors on all of our products here. We have to go through and we need to edit those uh, appropriately. So let's go ahead and we can walk through a few of those. I'll go through 19th here. All right, so we have a whole bunch of products to fix here. We're gonna go ahead and we'll go on, let's go this one. All right, so first off things, it'll tell you exactly what you need to fill out, what you're missing. Um, first off, we need a category. This is just apparel and clothing, age group, we're going adults, condition new, male or female, this is a unisex. Gotta make sure you have all your proper uh, variables, AdWords, details. Let's go with um, All right, so save. If you're missing anything, it'll let you know. Just checking it right now. You can see our description is off there. All right, product type cannot be blank. Where is product type? Oh, there we go. So in the actual product itself, we need to edit the type to be, you know, whatever type you have it set. We should have already had types anyways in here. This was an older product. So shirts is a pri price. And it's not big. Save. Now we'll try that one more time. All right, this product has been successfully published to Google Merchant Center. Now we just need to go down the list and do that for all our products and the product catalog will be set up appropriately and good to go. Now from here, we can start doing our dynamic product ads and we can start doing the Google uh, Shopping Network as well and advertising there, add some new traffic sources, some new income streams to your business. So guys, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. I'm sure I'll be doing some more videos and some more stuff about all of this Google Shopping and the dynamic product ads. So once again, my name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.